Hi, my name is Eric. I am one of the librarians here at McIntyre Library, and this set of video tutorials will take you through McIntyre Library and show you the different uh, things that you have available to you as a student here at UW-Eau Claire. I, along with one of uh, the students who works here at McIntyre Library, a third year history student, will talk to you about the spaces that are available, the technology, the content, and also the help that you can get in McIntyre Library. A little bit about the library before we get started with the actual tour. I want to let you know that generally the library is open from 7 a.m. in the morning until 1 a.m. the next morning. And of course the library hours are on the doors and also on the library's website. One thing to note is that during finals week and the week before finals, the library is actually open 24 hours a day, so you do have access to the library for an extended period of time during those time periods. And finally, uh, the uh, library is always available online, so 24 hours a day, as long as you have an internet connection, you'll have access to the library's resources. Hi, I'm Jenna, and I'm a third-year student here at UW-Eau Claire studying history. I'm going to talk to you about the different spaces in McIntyre Library. This library is a lot bigger than the one I had back at home, and it probably is for you too. But actually, once you get here, you find that it's really easy to navigate. Right now, we're in the Grand Corridor on the first floor of the library. This is the library's 24-hour study area that can be accessed after the library hours with your Blue Gold ID. Just down the hall is also another 24-hour computer lab and the LTS help desk. Now we're going to go into the library proper to look at other spaces in the library. After you walk through the security gates, you'll come to the bank of elevators on the first floor. This whiteboard is for leaving notes for your friends and or study groups so they can find you in the library. These elevators take you to all six floors and there's also a multitude of staircases. The general rule in the library is it's quieter as you go up, so the fourth and fifth floors are reserved for quiet study. We're going to go to the third floor. Here in the third floor of the library, we have many study tables and individual student desks. In addition to this, we also have many group study rooms that can be reserved at the circulation desk for two hours or reserved ahead of time online. One unique thing that we have in the library is a fitness center on the third floor. It may not be as big as the one at, on upper campus at the Crest Wellness Center, but it is a great place to take a break from studying. Now we're going to go back to the first floor to look at some other spaces in the library. In addition to having a fitness center, for those who enjoy active study breaks, the library also has a sizable collection of board games for those who like to relax and play a game with friends. We also have a monthly game day, one Saturday month. Here we also have the library puzzle and communal chessboard. Now we're in the Instructional Media Center, also known as the IMC, which is located in the lower level of the library. This houses books for education majors, but is also useful for students who babysit or have their own children. Located down here in the library is also a few vending machines for students who want to grab a quick snack and some pretty comfortable seating areas. Now I'm going to turn it back to Eric, who will talk to you about the technology available in the library. Thanks, Jenna. Right now, I'm standing in front of the equipment checkout desk on the first floor of the library. The reason I'm here is because there's lots of technology that you have access to in McIntyre Library from the equipment checkout desk. Some of these items include PC and Mac laptops, iPads, digital video cameras, still cameras, and digital recorders. These are all things that you pay for as a student here, and they're easily accessible from the checkout desk. All you need is your Blue Gold ID, and you go up to the person at the desk and say, I'd like an iPad, and they will check one out to you for seven days. You can also reserve them ahead of time if you know that you're going to be working on a project, and you can do that through the library's online reservation system. In addition to the technology that you can check out, the library also has a lot of other technologies that you have access to as a student at UW Eau Claire. Right now, I'm standing next to the scanner that we just got that allows you to scan and easily email items that you find in the library to yourself. The library also has lots of computers. In fact, we have a computer lab on every floor of the library. The largest of these computer labs is right here on the first floor that you see behind me. All the computers in the library are hooked up to printers, and one thing that's unique to UW-Eau Claire 
is that you don't have to pay for printing. All you need to do is to bring your own paper and print for free. So far we have covered places in the library and some of the technology that the library has to offer. Now I'm going to talk about the information that you have access to as a student. I'm on the third floor of the library where the main collection starts. We have access to hundreds of thousands of books and the collection runs in the third, fourth, and fifth floors of the library. In addition to the three floors of books, we also have access to approximately 100,000 electronic books that can be downloaded to your iPad, Kindle, laptop, or smartphone. The second floor of the library houses the library's journals, magazines, and newspapers. These are available in a variety of formats, bound like a book, microfilm, or single issues. However, the vast majority of articles are available online in the McIntyre Library website. We have access to over 50,000 journals, magazines, and newspapers. This means that you have access to well over a million articles here at UW-Eau Claire. McIntyre Library holds two unique collections of materials. The first is the Special Collections and Archives, which is on the fifth floor. It contains historical records and photos of the university since its founding in 1916, but also houses many historical documents and rare items from the region and around the country. As a history major, this has a gold mine of information, but it's also very useful for students of all majors. Our other unique collection is the large variety of government documents we have here on the first floor of the library in these movable shelves. Whenever the state of Wisconsin or the federal government publishes a hearing, bill, or other government publication, it's usually added to our collection. Along with these paper copies, we also have access to many more online. With the multitude of resources available, you may be asking yourself how you can determine if we have access to a specific item. The library's website is a great search tool, specifically for that purpose. If you're having trouble finding an item, however, you can come to the reference desk and ask a librarian for help or schedule an online consultation. If we can't get the book here, the great thing about going to Eau Claire is that we usually can get the book from another library around the country in a matter of days. Jenna just got done talking to you about the content that you have access to here at McIntyre Library. And hundreds of thousands of books and articles may sound like a daunting number for a freshman student. That's what we are here for uh, on the first floor is at the reference desk. It's because people like me and also Jill and Brad are here to help you navigate the research environment. And at the reference desk, we are generally open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. most days of the week. In addition to being available physically during those hours, we also have many other options for you to contact us. You can contact us via email, telephone, IM, and text message. The following staff members can help you at the library's reference desk on the first floor. If you need help in special collections and archives, talk to Greg or Lark. Once you found the item that you're looking for, bring it to the library's circulation desk on the first floor of the library and check it out. All you need is your blue gold ID. In addition to being able to check out books, you can also check out many other things here at the circulation desk. Primarily, you're going to be interested in that you can check out group study rooms. And just like the equipment checkout desk, you can reserve that ahead of time online. In addition to group study rooms and books that you can check out here, you also can check out calculators, cell phone chargers, laptop chargers, and a myriad of other things you have access to from McIntyre Library. As you've seen through the series of videos, the library is more than just a place that houses books. To find out about what is happening in the library, such as the finals week therapy dog visits that we have, in addition to other items like uh, the monthly game days and author readings, follow the library on social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest.